So the Nigerian banking, finance and investment markets are in mourning right now. As the head of Access Call, Herbert Wigwe, his wife and son died in a chopper accident in the United States over the weekend. The market is also mourning the loss of the immediate past chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group, Abimbala Ogobanjo, who also died in the Wigwe's tragic air accident on Friday. Joining me to discuss these very tragic moments in Nigeria's recent history is Olufemi Awuyemi, is the founder and chairman of ProShare. Well, thank you for making the time here, Femi. It's a very uh, grieving moment right now for, for everyone uh, with uh, Wigwe and, 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 uh, and Ngumbanjo. So, but how did this news hit you at the weekend? Well, thank you for, um, for having me. Uh, this news is uh, tragic for me, both from a corporate level and from a personal level. Um, it was strange because I was sending messages to discuss the economics of the Wigwe University to uh, personnel within Access Bank to ask for data to help my researchers look into this. Uh, the team at Access Bank were so professional that they d decided to mask whatever w they had known as at 10 p.m. the, uh, the previous night, the mm. United States time before. And then they gave me some of the information. It was while I needed further information at about 4 p.m. on mm -hmm. Saturday that I finally got calls from respected individuals in the system um, that I found out what had truly happened. And um, I, I, I quickly checked my phone and I sent a text message to Hubbard. Almost in disbelief that it was true. Why? Herbert was the fearless one. He was fearless, but the most benevolent. Mm. He was the one who encouraged us to believe that even if we died, we could resurrect. Mm. You know, that was the power to mm. which he was. And so um, it was a very dark moment and still is a bad dark moment. Mm. And I think that it is to the strength of the market that most of us are beginning to come to terms with it. Mm. Thank you. Uh, how about Wigwe was a friend and a mutual industry professional of yours, so uh, to that extent. So uh, what do you think the banking industry and the entire financial system will be remembering the, the Access Bank chief for? Like I said, how about Igwe was fearless, but he was the one of benevolence. Uh, how about Wigwe was one who, who always reminded you of how he passed through university how he used his mother's car, how he got to buy his first car, how he wanted. He was always thinking about the next objective. He was one who spoke about his partnership with Ike with uncommon relish, mm. that this was something that he has found a perfect mix of how we can change the country. Hava Wigwe was not a banker. He was a man who found purpose in banking. His larger goal was how we could build a better nation. I remember sometime he called me and said, Femi, we're going to fight. <laughs> uh, you wrote some few things about us, and, and then I defended myself, and he said, you know what? Game recognizes game. So what's going to happen is that I will move against you where you move against me. But then at the end of the day, if we find value that is beneficial to Nigeria, we have compromise. Mm. Harvard is just a man who has a kind spirit. His concern is about people. His concern is about his workers. His concern is about his competitor. His concern is about mm. anyone. And you can see from the banking industry, mm. even those whom they compete with mm. will tell you that Harvard will be there for them. Mm. So Harvard can have a disagreement with you, but yet that is the man who you can rely on. And for me, he says, oh, look, family, if you're going to do this work, you have to do it professionally. He kept on he, sending me profiles of benchmarks. Hmm. I said, can you meet this international benchmark? Can you? He's always pushing so, so everybody. It, it, put, it was a fair lesson to you. More than that, what he did was that he held me accountable. In those early days, and I remember when the intercontinental deal and all that was coming up and all of that, I'm sure you must have thought Herbert and, and, and I were both crazy to have gone for the intercontinental bank deal at a time when nobody wanted to touch that particular, and the market, the banking system was, you wrote a memo to the market on, on that at ProShare and all of that, and I'm sure you must have been looking at 
who the heck is this guy? Habits, I'm sure, what I get. And, and, and of course, they went through it. And today, they, they have, there were the folks who talk about the, the very the shiny armor when you talk about Nigeria's recent banking history. Okay, so it's important for people to understand one thing. There's a place for rumor. There's a place for evidence. So we sought to go through the evidence, talking through the central bank, talking through mm. bankers, including I'm the gone. entities yes. involved. Mm. Um, the and, whatever. Yeah. and then we put some of our thoughts together, and we published some. Mm. And then he saw it and said, look, I would like to invite you. To, here's my evidence. You bring your evidence. Mm. And that's the measure of the man that he is. Sometimes we agree, sometimes we didn't agree, mm. but the generality of the truth of it is that he was able to provide a best case user thing. And I think that it's important that people should understand this thing. When people succeed, we tend to assume that it's because there were some untoward things done. The game is the game. He had the best information and intelligence available to him at that time. We challenged those bases. Mm. Some areas they were able to convince us. Most areas, we had some issues. And then he said, okay, let's look into these other areas. And then we went through the gamut, including up to the regulatory level. Mm. And I'm sure, luckily, that those regulators are still alive. And mm. so they can talk. So there's no revisionism of history here. Mm. And by the way, people forget that IBJ actually published a book, which was titled from the Tarmac um, 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 how to acquire an African bank. Mm. And it documented most of those things. I was lucky to be one of those who, because of those roles I played, to mm. write a review. And in that review, I said, it's important for Herbert to write his own position. Three weeks before his unlikely demise right now, he was putting together a team to write those reports. And I said, I see what you're doing. To be interesting to know that mm. they can use some of our materials. So here's what I will say to you. Habat was not just a banker. Habat was someone who was operating under grace, to use his words to me. He said, Femi, we have grace. We have no better country than Nigeria. Yet this, this and this might have taken place, but we're going to have to build a better country for us. I don't know what more to say, but what I can say for myself and it's a very painful thing for me, as the founder of Russia. You, Fabi, you, you spent some of your early career in the banking industry yourself. So I'm sure taking Access Bank from where it, where it was years and years ago before I and, 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 and we went in there uh, from the backwaters of banking to, to, take, to, to take Access Bank to the front door. Uh, among the, the top in Nigeria and, and in Africa. Do you, what do you see here moving forward on the future of Access Core? They just launched a brand new Access Core holding structure just about two years or so ago, and, 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 and Herbert is driving this right uh, on, on the driver's seat with his hands and the handle. They have a lot of deals, including that of Chart Standard Chartered, which were to be completed in the first half of this year. was going to be one of the biggest deals for a Nigerian bank in history to take on between six and eight standard chartered of UK's access, access, assets in, in, in Africa? If you know Aiguji very well, and if you know Hubbard very well, the most common thing about them is that they invest heavily on strategic planning. They invest heavily on risk management. They have invested heavily on succession planning. They have learned from their predecessors and their mentors, uh, Uncle Fola Adeola and uh, Tayo Adirioku of blessed memory. They have understood these things. And so they know that Access Bank is not a bank of Ike and Herbert. It's an international bank with international investors in the team. Mm. So the first thing Herbert would always tell anybody, which he learned also from Ike, was that, if I'm gone, the bank will remain. They have an incredible team of people, from Roosevelt down to um, um, uh, Willie, to mm. down to Victor, mm. to Sheikh Kumakpai, mm. to mm. every one of those people. Mm. This incredible structure they've placed 
mm. are put in place. Mm. They have learned from those who have done it before them. Mm. And so what they wanted was a bank that can survive them, even though none of them, and indeed Herbert of most uh, blessed memory, did not plan this thing. So I can tell you honestly, as I speak here, and I would not deny the fact, that is a friend and a brother and, a, and somebody I, I, I admire, but I can tell you, Bose, the team in place understand that ramification, including the fact that that was why they immediately came out to say we'll be announcing a succession, because they understand that there will not be any vacuum in the governance structure of Access Bank. So you're not surprised that Access Core shares was the most actively traded today on, on the stock exchange? No, but don't you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. The most disastrous event vis-a-vis -vis the most responsible response. Come that on. is the legacy mm. that the late co-founder and the surviving co-founder built into the institution. You should be surprised if they, if they didn't the do market that. had gone otherwise. No, no, but the market understood what they were saying. Mm. Is that there were two things. The level of goodwill, mm. the level of outpouring of emotions, but most importantly, maybe people do not understand that the members of Access Bank knew about this demise before the Lagos Marathon. The organization took a corporate decision to protect that thing as against the news. And they delivered the Lagos Marathon. Successfully. Successfully, without mm. creating any panic. And panic. Yes. And that, that tells you their mindset about how the organization has been structured. Should, should, should run. Exactly. Mm. And it's mm. a lesson mm. for most of us, and including myself, mm. that this is how organizations should run. And then when they did that, it sent a strong message to the market that rather than be depressed, this organization is in a strong position. So the market moves forward in terms of confidence. And that, and that takes me to the, uh, the immediate past chairman of the NGS group, I mean, Balao oh. Mobanjo. And, 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 and this is a very critical juncture of the, of the life of the NGX. Uh, I'm sure that's another uh, a corporate uh, law luminary uh, uh, a bedroom guru as well, who who also lost his life in the same fatal air accident. If you if you remember very well, there are about six to ten persons that built this market. The Gumbajos, the Alilis, the uh, Onoso days, the uh, Christopher Kola days, um, um, the Shukayas mm. and whatever. The yes. Gumbajo is a critical mm. part of this. The Gumbajo family, group. yes. We have just lost him in December. Yeah, but by, by, by himself, yes, the, the um, January. Being born was the Bamufi. We call him the Bamufi. But everyone who knows him understands that Bimbo has always been um, one who pulls people together, mm. one who's able to resolve issues in the market. And it was no surprise he was the chairman. And under his tenure, that was when we were able to build the market into where it is today. Mm. And um, uh, his passing is such a rude shock, maybe not so much for the market per se, but for most of those of us who understand the dynastic nature of the Ijebu heritage. But the Gubanjos? Oh, the Gubanjo family played a role in this country, and to lose Mimbo is a significant loss. And so when you take it in totality, we lost people who were positioned to focus in on how to build the country. But you see, that's the funniest thing. <clears throat> the resilience of Nigeria and Nigerians is such that people like Bimbo had put certain persons in position. Mm -hmm. It was under Bimbo that we identified Timmy Pupola, mm -hmm. who is now the group CEO. Of the NGS group. Of the NGS group. It was under uh, Hubbard that we identified uh, Roosevelt. Mm. Oh, it's not the group. You understand? So these are men who were always thinking about the future and life after them. So the gratitude we have is that we've lost men who have tried to put structures in place for how these things can be sustained long after them. As tragic as it is for some of us, 
we can only rely in that confidence to understand that. I am one of the testaments of what these two men also put together. Mm. And so it's both humbly and responsible for me to say so. And I think yourself as well. You, you're very correct. Uh, they do some men that some of us uh, interviewed and, and we learn from, 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 their, from their experiences and, and everything they put together in the market. But here's but, one or two things I will tell you. Yes. What we cannot replace hmm. is the larger than life position some of these men have assumed. In the coming weeks, you will have tributes. And then some of you begin to understand that when you look at a banker, you're not seeing a banker. I will not mention him, but there are some of them also in existence here. Mm. There are those of them in red, orange, and few things like that, mm. who have played a great role and are still continue to do so. What they do goes beyond banking. Someone like Harvard invested heavily in so many things in the public sector. IPOJ is doing the same thing currently, but Harvard has always done that. They have both used Access Bank to help build the public service structure, mm. to plug the gap when they see so. So, in a manner of speaking, these are corporate statements. Hmm? Corporate statement. I don't know how to respond to that, but I can tell you honestly that uh, my work requires discretion, and in that regard, there are things I, I, I would just um, mm. speak about in balance. Mm. But I can tell you honestly that the state of the Federation today, mm. we have lost critical elements who, who is helping us stabilize the conversation. Mm. Mm. In the weeks to come, mm. we would have to respect those who are still surviving, therefore, mm. and then we'll find an arrangement. For example, When everybody talks about the federal, say the Minister of uh, 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 Finance and whatever, people forget that the federative budget is not about the federal government's budget. You know. It's about the budget of the national, the states, and the subnational. Nobody's holding state governors to account. Nobody's talking about regional economic agendas. Nobody's talking about bills in the National Assembly which are stifling all these things. These are what these men do in quiet to stabilize how things move. And that is why when men say that they feel their loss, it's not just their, their benevolence, their kindness, their philanthropy, and their, it is the fact that they are part of the stabilizing nature of the Federation. And I think that is the point I think people should understand and that those, those orders to then step up to plug the gap. Because we cannot hold the federal government alone responsible to building the nation state. It is a collaboration. For the greater good. Uh, towards for, a better for, society. For the greater good. Thank you so much, Femi Awoyemi, Father and Chairman at uh, Prussia. Thank you very much. We appreciate Thank you. It's a very sad moment for Nigeria and the Barkers as we condole with the immediate family members and friends of Herbert Wigwe and Abimbola uh, Ogmubanjo. Okay.